SoFi stock reported earnings today that blew away all expectations for the company. This is causing SoFi stock to rally almost 13% here today. And this is a really big move considering the NASDAQ is down over 1.5% due to the events that we are going to get throughout the rest of this week. Now, in this video, we are talking about SoFi stock. And we're going to be going over from this certain analyst that has covered SoFi for a very long time what his 2023 price prediction is for SoFi stock. And it's up there guys so we're talking about some pretty big gains here also at the same time i do want to go over what has been happening with anthony noto and his purchases of sofi stock over the last couple of months and what this ultimately means for the rest of 2023 because the most bullish thing i would say is when a ceo of a company who has already granted warrants and stock-based compensation is going out on a limb and buying more shares not included in his package already is the most bullish thing that could happen so we're going to get into all of this information we're also going to talk about something that is going to be happening in after hours it is a certain company that will be reporting earnings that basically is contracted by apple for all of their semiconductor needs so depending on what this company says is going to give us a lot of guidance to go off of for apple earnings later in the week guys so if this sounds like something you are interested in hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you learn something you like my perspective or you want to stay up to date with all of this information on a day-to-day -day basis let's get into it guys so sofi stock is up 12.13 percent we're going to start off with sofi because they had earnings today. So this says SoFi Technology, Technologies Inc. reports fourth quarter and fiscal 2022 results. Now, record gap and adjusted net revenue for fourth quarter and full year 2022. Fourth quarter, 457 million gap net revenue up 60, 60 percent year over year 443 million adjusted net revenue up 58 percent year over year record fourth quarter adjusted ebitda of 70 million up 15.3 x 1500 percent year over year and up 58 percent sequentially fourth quarter 40 million gap net loss improved 64% year over year. Quarterly new member adds of nearly 480,000. Total members up 51% year over year to over 5.2 million. Quarterly new products adds of over 695,000. Total products up 53% year over year to nearly 7.9 million dollars so these earnings completely destroyed all expectations now if we take a look at this this is quote from anthony noto it says we finished a remarkable year with another quarter of record financial results and continued strength in member and product ads as well as cross buy momentum we generated our seventh consecutive quarter of record adjusted net revenue, which was up 58% year over year for the quarter and surpassed 1.5 billion for the full year, up 52% versus 2021. We also generated record adjusted EBITDA in the fourth quarter, finishing the year with over 143 million in 2022, nearly five times the total adjusted EBITDA compared to full year 2021. This strength carried through to the bottom line, resulting in an incremental gap net income margin of 42% for the fourth quarter and 28% for the full year, said Anthony Noto, CEO of SoFi Technologies. Quote, record revenue crop Record revenue across all three of our business segments, lending, technology, platform, and financial services, drove our record fourth quarter adjusted net revenue of $443 million and record fourth quarter adjusted EBITDA of $70 million. Our continued strength growed and significant improvement in gap net income margin positions us very well in 2023 for another year of significant revenue and EBITDA growth and for reaching gap net income profitability in the fourth quarter. So there's talking just straight up profits in the bank by the fourth quarter of 2023. Nobody expected that one. 
Now, if we go ahead and switch to the Ortex data and take a look at the short positions that hedge funds have in SoFi, it's pretty bearish. It's sitting at almost 11% short interest with about 84 million shares sold short. And it will be interesting to see what happens over the next coming days if some of these short positions do get reduced. Because after this earnings report, there's a lot less risk for SoFi. SoFi really put it all out there and was fully transparent. Uh, and, and some things were good, some, some things were bad. You know, SoFi's main business segment, which is their student loan originations, they said that was not good. That's probably not going to be good, at least until, until Q4 when the loan moratoriums go out of effect right so a little bit of optimism was spoken for the end of the year but overall this should really de-risk sofi as a whole as they are now a legit bank as you guys do know they got their bank charter over the summer in 2022 and that totally changed the game for sofi stock so Let's get into these numbers. Like I said, about 11% short interest of free float, about 84 and a half million shares sold short. Cost of borrow rates are very low, so I don't want to highlight that too much. But I do want to talk about the option activity here on the day as well, especially since SoFi is up about 13% at the time of recording this video. You are seeing 59 orders totaling about $7 million, positive order value of 86%. So out of $100 that goes into SoFi options today, $86 of that hundred dollars is bullish and it would be only fourteen dollars on the bearish side and that is my daughter guys if that is if this is your first time here um there's not much i can do if i want to make these videos um so you kind of just got to bear with me i do appreciate the patience you guys have, have already showed some of you guys that do watch all of these videos so uh really good really good numbers as far as the option activity now the best thing about all of this is when you actually take a look at the insider transactions that's where things get super super bullish in my personal opinion anthony noto has been a net buyer of sofi for a long time now over the past three months you have seen about eight million dollars or seven and a half million dollars i should say go into sofi shares alone and if you look at just the month of december on december 9th anthony noto bought about three million dollars worth of sofi December 12th, he bought about $600,000 worth of SoFi. On December 13th, he bought about $1.5 million worth of SoFi. On December 15th, he bought another million dollars of SoFi. On December 16th, he bought another $1.38 million of SoFi. And this was heading into earnings. This is a big reason why I have been bullish on SoFi and will continue to be bullish on SoFi until something else changes and a matter of fact you have not seen any insiders sell any shares in 2022 or 2023 besides softbank group or softbank corporation that did sell about 97 million dollars worth of sofi in two transactions other than that it has all been buys from the management of sofi and this is one of the best things you could point to because not a lot of companies, especially in 2022 uh, and, and now in the start of 2023, are net buyers of their own stock. Because after all, Anthony Noto, these executives, they get shares for just working at the company, right? They get stock stock based compensation they get warrants they get all these things so if they're going out and buying more shares they want more exposure to the business that they're running right they know what to expect reasonably for the next couple of years and this is a huge bullish sign that i have to bring to your guys's attention now i do also want to talk about this as well this is an analyst that has been covering SoFi for years now, for literally, uh, like most of the articles you see are from this guy, David Modell. And it says, my my SoFi stock price prediction for 2023. SoFi stock could be a 10-bagger someday, but investors will have to accept volatility. Bearish traders are underestimating the steady membership growth of SoFi technologies. Eventual changes in adverse conditions for lenders should provide a boost to sofi investors should consider taking a small speculative long position 
in SoFi stock. And what's actually interesting is that he does not own uh, SoFi at all, right? He, he doesn't even own it, but he's been covering it for a very long time. Now, it says, what will the future look like for California headquartered neo banking firm SoFi Technologies? There's certainly no guarantee that the company will grow or that SoFi stock will gain value over the next seven years. Yet there are reasons to believe that SoFi Technologies represents the future of modern banking and will stage a major comeback by 2023. After a brutal 2022 for fintech businesses and especially SoFi Technologies, it's difficult to find optimistic voices on Wall Street today. For instance, analysts with JP Morgan only gave SoFi Technologies is a neutral rating and a six dollar price target that implies some upside potential for sofi shares in the short term still analysts and investors generally don't seem to have a positive long-term vision for the company they may be missing out on a huge opportunity however indeed they may someday wish they bought shares of sofi technologies while investor sentiment was at a low point SoFi stock looks oversold based on the company's membership growth. Last year, financial traders rotated out of tech-centered high-growth stocks of 2022 and 2021. They punished SoFi stock harshly, bringing what once was a $25 stock to the $5 area. This sell-off looks overdone as SoFi Technologies isn't a shrinking company. During 2022's third quarter, SoFi added 635,000 new products and up 69% year over year. Quarter after quarter since late 2019, the company has consistently augmented its new product count. Of course, of course, new products uh, wouldn't mean much if people weren't using them. Yet, SoFi Technologies has consistently increased its membership count. Q3 of 2022 was a truly outstanding time for SoFi as the company added 424,000 new members, representing a 61% year-over-year increase. And if we just skip down to the price target says so here's my sofi stock price prediction for 2023 sofi technologies is a fast-growing business that is facing challenges which will probably be temporary meanwhile the market appears to be overemphasizing those challenges given the rapid growth in sofi technologies membership and new products i'm targeting 50 dollars for sofi stock by 2023 that's a seven-year runway and the shares already reached 25 dollars at one point so 50 is entirely possible but please maintain a small position size and be ready for volatility along the way on the day of publication, David Modell did not have either directly or indirectly any positions in the securities mentioned in this article. So the dude doesn't even own SoFi and is saying a lot of very bullish things, guys. So that is basically the wrap here today on SoFi stock. Now, as far as the very important earnings in after hours, that is the, the main contractor for Apple for their semiconductors is NXP semiconductors and it's NXPI if you guys are looking for a ticker symbol on that and what this company says as far as their numbers and their guidance is going to be indirect guidance for Apple as well if they say you know our orders are really slowing down maybe they might might say something about Apple I'm sure they probably won't but if they say their orders are slowing down and they're not you know just able to sell as much well, that's not going to be good, and that's going to be a bad sign for Apple, and that could potentially continue a lot of this fear that you are seeing today with the markets falling, the NASDAQ about 1.78%, and the S&P dropping about 1.2%, Dow Jones dropping 0.70%, and Russell 2000 dropping about 1%. The VIX is now over $20, again, up 9.13% here on the day guys so this is my sofi stock update hopefully you guys learned something out of this video the numbers the earnings very very good i think it really de-risks sofi over the next coming months at least until we get to next earnings and the bears can have something uh to to try to pull out the hat with sofi i i, I doubt we're gonna get really bad numbers in 2023 it's certainly possible but from here on out it looks to be a lot less risky to own SoFi stock and really just underappreciated to say the least, guys. So that is going to be it for this video. We're going to be going over what is happening with Tesla as well as the broad markets a little bit more in depth in the next video coming out later today. So stay tuned for that one as well. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff. Again, thank you guys for the patience and I will see you in the next one.